Connecticut legislatures are about to pass a law that would make it illegal to prohibit breastfeeding in public. Then, hopefully, these legislatures will also change the fascist law that the person being breastfed in public has to be a baby. <laughs> this week in Minneapolis, the Minnesota Obesity Center officially opened. Its goals? To find ways to identify behaviors that lead to obesity. Also, it's a good place to meet fat chicks. <laughs> New medical research shows that men and women have different food cravings. Men preferring meat and women preferring sweets. Scientists trace this back to caveman days, when men had to go out and hunt for food while women sat on their fat asses eating chocolates. <laughs> I go, listen, basically, I'm not a fancy guy. Fred, you know that. <laughs> really? No, I always thought of you as a fancy My guy. My thing is, guy. like, uh, for a sexual encounter or something, I like to lie on top of a lady. <laughs> yeah. I don't need a lot of fucking shit going on. <laughs> One girl will do it. Yeah. Are you currently That's in a, exciting enough for you. Uh, are That's you currently in a relationship or are you playing the field? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? What are you retarded? Are you, no, are you really having a relationship? Come on. Come on. on. Come on, man. Seriously. What the fuck? But I mean, I've never. I don't want to be tossed in with people that actually did right. uh, uh, not crimes, but sins or, you know, I. Uh, you know, I, I barely have uh, consensual sex. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson has reportedly stepped right into his new role as a dad, spending many hours a day with his newborn son, doing the changing, the burping, even the breastfeeding. So... My brother-in-law is so stupid. My sister's brother? Right. Sister's husband. Sister's husband, rather? My sister's brother would be my brother. Okay, whatever. My brother-in-law, but I was saying it's my sister's brother and not my... What else would it be? I don't know, but I know your brother's very smart. He does, like, journalism. Yeah. But this is my brother-in-law. This is my brother-in-law. Mm -hmm. So stupid, right? Uh-huh. He came up with a bucket list. You know a bucket list? Oh, sure. You know, what, you know what his first thing on the bucket list was? Committing suicide. Is <laughs> <laughs> that retarded? Uh, huh? That's just stupid. It's... You heard about the four the four NFL players that are that are coming out of the closet? No. It's about time, I think. I, th I think it's high time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> isn't it strange that there's no nobody come out of the closet in an entire sport of football where there's two thousand players, and you know there's gay people right. playing football. Because in the locker room they'll be saying you're looking at me naked. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a, anyway, there's a great deal of speculation on who the four openly gay, well, the, the four NFL football players that are going to be openly gay are. And nobody knows. Yes, yeah, whatever. My guess is it's those four that are all sucking each other's cocks. <laughs> I laughed before the show. I knew it's going to be a sucking cock joke. Last week, Duchess of York Sarah Ferguson visited the Big Apple and showed off her 14-pound weight loss. Hopefully this will not interfere with her official duties of sitting on her fat ass all day long. <laughs> Former Wilson Phillips member Carney Wilson's new talk show kicked off this month. According to Carney, her show will be different from the others in that guests will be treated with respect and dignity. And then she will eat them. <laughs> They are developing a pill which can give women orgasms without having sex. Read all about this revolutionary discovery in my new book, The World's Most Dangerous Drug. Right? Yes. I think it was a window washer. It's a window washer, Mike. Fucking scare the shit out of him. You go with some. You go with some. Hey, go, the, go to the I'm window. Do that. Come no on, way, man. No way. No I'm scare fucking window way. Right. I ain't doing that. Nah, nah. You, your days of scaring window washers are over. <laughs> Big time. Yeah. Big time. Comic legend George Burns, who turned 100 years old today.
You know, I don't know the secret to his longevity, but I, I think I speak for all of us when I say, I hope Polly Shore doesn't know it either. <laughs> so I say, listen, uh, 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 Jamie, uh, that's amazing, like you're pregnant. It's cool how they shoot around that on the show. Uh, you don't look pregnant. She says, I'm pregnant on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so then, then I say, I know. <laughs> In his book, O.J. Simpson says that he would have taken a bullet or stood in front of a train for Nicole. Man, I'm going to tell you, that is some bad luck when the one guy who would have died for you kills you. That's probably... <laughs> you don't get worse luck than that. Newlyweds Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson had their first argument this week. He wants kids while she wants fake kids. Saturday Night Live during the opening credits. And one of the things I like about you is you're completely unfiltered on that show. You'll say anything. And I saw in the picture you had a cigarette in your mouth. I, this yeah. guy just doesn't give a shit. So I asked you to come on. I find out you pushed out on me and quit smoking. What is that all about? <laughs> no, because it's bad for you. <laughs> they have these fucking things on the side. You have to read the fine print where it says, it's bad. <laughs> Now, when did you first start smoking? I started smoking as a kid, like when I was, uh, I think I was like 14, and I thought, I'll look really cool, like if I start smoking, because I didn't get along with anybody. So I started smoking. Wouldn't you know it, I did look cool. <laughs> all of a sudden, all these broads like me and everything. <laughs> Not broads, but ladies, girls, women. <laughs> and, uh, it was hard though, man, because I was always I guilty about it all the time I smoked, because I always thought, you know, that I, thought, I always knew it was bad for me, you know? Like, even though some, you know, some guys will say that it's good because their uncle lived long or something and he smoked, you know, and they'll go, hey, what about, you know, that old guy, uh, you know, Burt Mustin, what about that guy, you know? And then, uh, 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 he, just because he lived long, that doesn't mean anything, right? That's just one guy. You can't. Just because Burt Mustin lived long, you're all of a sudden... Dude, you did your master's thesis on this, didn't you? <laughs> no, I never now, did it. people bother you a lot when you're smoking? Were people pissed off when... Yeah, people don't like when you smoke, you know? They, they're bothered, like... I gotta admit, though, secondhand smoke is bad. Like, I don't like... When I smoked, I didn't like secondhand smoke. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I like that first-hand smoke because you get to suck it right out of the cigarette, you know? <laughs> and the second-hand, any, any fucking thing that's already been ingested by someone is not as good, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I... Like a pork sandwich is delicious, but after a digested pork sandwich, <laughs> that's fucking shit. <laughs> you know? You can't fight that logic, Norman. <laughs> You cannot? Do you think advertising brings kids to smoking? You know, they have a lot of fight with the Joe Camel thing. Do you think they really? Yeah, they got, no, yeah, definitely they got it. Because the thing is this, the advertisers, they got to go after kids because they're not going to get adults. Like, there's not going to be a 50-year-old guy going, hey, I should start smoking. <laughs> that goddamn camel. Look at him. <laughs> They gotta get little children. Joe Camel. Yeah. That's a frightening looking beast. Is he looks like a cock. <laughs> I, read it. Yeah. I didn't make this up. And I know you don't mind first hand cock, but uh <laughs> You don't know that. <laughs> don't say that. Who are safer drivers? Men or women? Well, according to a new survey, fifty five percent of adults feel that women are most responsible for minor fender benders, while 78% blame men for most fatal crashes. Please note that the percentages in these pie graphs do not add up to 100% because the math was done by a woman. So. For those of you hissing at that joke, it should be noted that that joke was written by a woman. So, now you don't know what the hell to do, do you? No, I'm just kidding. We don't hire women. Tell <laughs>